What's going on guys? Card you guys here. My name is AJ and we are back again with the 2024 Lexus NX 350H. This is the luxury trim level. This is going to be five things to love, five things to improve. Not the full review. Full review link down below. Almost to 20,000 subscribers. Thank each and every one of you. Without further ado, we're going to roll the cinematic and get right into this because this video is shorter, just hitting some highlight type of stuff. So let's roll. Number one on the five things to improve is here with this screen. I really like the screen. It actually, everything works really, really well. Um, and it is responsive. Where my improvement would lie, and this has been on Lexus Toyota products for quite some time now, and I really do hope that they uh, kind of update this. I would love to see a real split screen. Like you have this nice big screen, but I would love to see it split or maybe just partial or you could have like the navigation over here, music, whatever. I wish it was more customizable as to how it could split. Unfortunately, that's not the case still, which I would definitely think is just an over the air update or something like that. It would be pretty minor, I would think, but uh, I definitely think that would be a good improvement on this NX350H. Number two on the list, and that has to do with the seats in the front, I would love an option for massaging seats. It's definitely something I would pay for. Uh, you know, I've, I've experienced them uh, before, and now that, you know, I have, they seem kind of gimmicky, at least they did to me at first, and then once I used them, then I was like, ooh, it's actually super nice uh, after a long day or a long drive, um, especially if you don't have, like, a great back and it, it really really does help kind of loosen the muscles just a little bit so again that would definitely be a nice uh, little option don't expect that standard by any stretch um, so that would be definitely nice number three on the list is here in front of us I wish this entire thing was a screen right like your temperatures over here on the left and then you have your different like you know like check engine light all that stuff car's not on it doesn't have a check engine light right now I'm just saying I wish the whole thing was a screen versus just the middle section, um, which it mostly is a screen, but it would just look a lot cleaner if it was the entire thing. And I think it, we're at this point to where enough of its competition most certainly does have that. I think it would be a great addition to this NX350H. Number four on the list is actually in the rear and it does have an option for heated rear seats that are also power folding. Uh, we go over all that in the full review, link down below. With that said, it would be nice to have optional cooled rear seats. Um, there are some other vehicles definitely in this price range that do offer that. Um, and if you live in somewhere like me in Arizona and it is super hot in the summer, it's definitely nice for those that are in the back seat to have a cooled seat because seats get wicked hot here in the state of Arizona. Number five on the improvement list is right in front of us and that is the steering wheel. Now with that said, not the actual steering wheel, totally fine. As you can see, uh, if you're used to an older layout or actually even majority of all vehicles still, you have one cruise control button here which is basically your on and off, but generally you have like your plus, minus, you have your uh, resume, cancel, uh, all of those sort of buttons, you also usually have a button on the steering wheel when there's adaptive for your actual adaptive settings. Um, none of that here. Uh, you have your lane centering and then you have literally, you know, your on and off basically is what it is. So you use these buttons for cruise control, but it's out 
with the heads up display. So I don't know if you can see me kind of moving this around, different buttons, whatever. I, I definitely wish there were still buttons. Um, you know, I, I'm all, I, I'm not trying to be uh, stuck in my ways or anything like that. It's just, there's certain scenarios. The, the heads up display is great. I absolutely love the heads up display. And we're gonna get to all the technology in this vehicle because again, overall, I love this vehicle. It's definitely actually a contender for my wife's next vehicle. Uh, maybe it's definitely probably top five on the list for me, just with our personalities and what we have in our life. Long story short, I just wish that there were buttons there. Um, there's certain lightings to where the heads up display, it's kind of hard to see. It's a little bit of a distraction because you're trying to figure out what I, where I want my cruise control. If you have a button, it's there, it's much easier. You don't have to worry about heads up display. Again, not a big deal, but it's definitely something I would love to see the buttons come back to the steering wheel for sure. Moving on to the five things to love. Number one on the list is the exterior looks. And I'll put up a drone footage here. It just looks good. Like I think for an SUV, I think it looks really, really good. I mean, everyone's gonna be, have an opinion on color, right? Like you gotta get past the, the color, whether this is your color or not your color. You can get it in all the different color options out there and I'm sure there's something that you like. So from a design standpoint though, I think it looks really good. Number two on the list, and I kind of talked about this that we were gonna to get to it, and that is all of the technology and the features. So you've got heated seats, you've got cooled seats, you have lane centering, you have adaptive cruise control, uh, you've got a wireless phone pad charger, uh, you have, well, up here, obviously, you have your camera, which you can turn off if you'd like for your rear view. Uh, the rear, optional for heated seats, also power folding. There's a lot on this vehicle, and to have all of those features, super nice. Also, one, very quickly, not to forget, optional, of course, panoramic view monitoring, which is basically your 360 camera. Also, very nice to have. Number three on the list is ride quality. If you have watched my full review, you know I'm a huge fan of Lexus ride quality. Now, if you don't go drive one, you're never gonna truly understand how good it is. Like, it'll put it into perspective. It, it really, really will. Anybody will be able to tell the difference. Now, if you only drive a Lexus and you don't drive anything else, you think probably it's just average. If you go drive anything else and then you drive this, then you're gonna definitely understand and respect the ride quality that Lexus offers in majority of their vehicles. And this one definitely is within the normal Lexus lineup for having great ride quality. Number four is gas mileage. Um, and then also we're gonna go ahead and talk about number five because they kind of go together, but they had to be separate and that is all wheel drive. So the fact that this is all wheel drive, it's an SUV and it still does zero to 60 in 7.2 seconds. It's all impressive, right? Like I love having all wheel drive because it doesn't matter the weather, snow, rain, whatever, you're planted, you're good to go. Like you don't have to really worry about it. And you can get good gas mileage. Like you're literally at near and around 40 MPGs in this. Like that is so impressive, honestly. It really, really is. It's a great combination. It's a good middle ground for everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If there's anything I'm missing, just comment down below. Because of course, I only spend a week with these vehicles. Some of you owners know even more than what I do. Um, so with that said, please comment down below. Happy to hear what you guys have to say. For everything else, be sure to subscribe. We're almost to 20,000 subscribers. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.